Hello and welcome to today's video, my name is Cam Ward and today I very quickly wanted to run over something which is never really mentioned by that many editors and it really should be. One of the most important tips I can give you as an editor is to be organised and today I'm going to run through very quickly with you uh, how I organise my files uh, for each project individually and then a little bit on how I kind of import that all into Premiere and then get on with it from there. Basically, uh, I keep everything in a projects folder. These are basically the three different folders which you know I organize footage into and work under. So uh, Bad Habit is my production company. Under the videos folder, we've got the clients here. So let's say uh, we're gonna use this folder here and in like the main hard drive, the backup, all his projects are listed under here. So different events and different jobs and so on. As like as a whole, this is like a five folder structure. I do this for every single project because I found it's the most efficient way to organize things. Within that, uh, we've got the clips, and basically I plug the SD card in generally, and then organize the footage I want to keep and the stuff that I don't want to keep. The stuff that I want to keep, I drag it into the uh, into the folder here. The little S, I like to mark the ones which are 120 frames per second uh, with this little S. Um, it's just easier on the timeline sometimes. And just kind of have a scrub through the footage. Um, if it's a good clip, then I'll keep it. I've also got some iPhone footage in here. Yeah, you know, sometimes clients can't tell the difference between a Red Skull, a W, and an iPhone, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. Uh, we've got our final output here. Always label things V1 or V2 or whatever. Do it in versions because a client wants changes, it's just V2, then V3, and so on and so forth. Project files, this is where I save my main projects file. I know this might look a bit daunting if you're new to this. This is your main thing you need to look after. All this other stuff is just generated automatically. This also has some After Effects folders and media encoder stuff in here as well because there was a little bit of After Effects work to do on this video. So um, I do already have it open. So this is all rendered out. I'm just gonna disable the audio so it's not, you know, super loud and annoying. Okay, so within Premiere, um, this is my main sequence here, this one open. This is my pancake timeline way of doing it up here to select the best moments from the best clips. If you want to learn more about that, there's another video. I'll leave it on the screen now. A sound effects folder there, visual effects folder there. That's for like, you know, adjustment layers, other bits and pieces, lens burns and so on. Uh, images, logos, music. Yeah, it's all pretty straightforward stuff. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of it to be honest. Like it's only a very quick video, but I know some people are, want to know what the best way to organize their um, footage and whatnot is. And this is how I do it across the board, whether it's for client work or personal stuff. So this is the Pancake Timeline video. Very, very similar setup um, across the board with everything that I do. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. My name is Cam Ward and I will catch you in the next one.